This is HSK1, lesson number 12, grammar point number 2. Sentences with a subject predicate phrase as the predicate. Behind this complicated name, there is a very simple thing in Chinese that we can understand using this simple example here. 我身体不好 Here, the meaning of 身体 is not body, but health. We are referring to somebody's health. So, my health, not good. My health is not good. So, what we can see here is that we are not using the verb to be in Chinese, although in English and other languages, we usually use this verb, okay? And another interesting thing is that we have wo and shen ti, a pronoun and a noun together. In this case, we are using the adjective hao and the negative bu. So, bu hao, my health is not good. Another example. Ni mama hao ma? How is your mother? We are not going to use the verb to be, but when we translate it into English or maybe other languages, we use the verb to be. Let's see some examples from page number 92. My health is not very good. The weather will be fine tomorrow. How is your health? In these examples, I put the verb to be between brackets in English, because in Chinese we are not using the verb to be. But when we translate it, we use this verb. Let's practice a little bit. For example, his older brother is tall. 他哥哥很高. My body, my health is fine. 我身体很好. How about the weather tomorrow? How is going to be the weather tomorrow? 明天天气怎么样? Tomorrow's weather is not good. 明天天气不好? How is your grandmother? Ni nai nai hauma. So with these examples, we can see that we are using sentences with a subject predicate phrase as the predicate. We are not using a verb in Chinese, but remember that the adjectives in Chinese have implicit the verb to be. 